Ever since man discovered crude oil and its endless potential, we have enriched our lives with an infinite amount of products, ranging from paint, synthetic rubbers and plastics, to medicine, fibres and fuels. Imagine we could maintain our lifestyle while using renewable and environmentally friendly resources instead. We are depleting at a very fast rate our natural resources and polluting them. So in order to maintain our quality of life, we will have to adapt our economy and our lifestyles. For this, we need a gradual transition from a fossil-based society to a biomass-based society. Chemists in the Dutch research programme Catch Bio are unravelling the huge potential of non-edible biomass feedstock. For instance, sugar beet pulp, maize stalks, wood waste or energy crops like miscanthus. All natural resources we don't need for our daily food consumption. With chemocatalysis as their tool and biomass as an affordable, available and acceptable resource, they are building our future prosperity. If you do it right, you can produce on the, on the same amount of land, you can produce both food and resources for chemistry. So you make more efficient use of the land than we currently do. It will affect the daily lives of people in such a way that they will be able to buy the same products that they can buy nowadays, use the same plastics, the same polymers, the same drugs, but now made from renewable resources. So the chemical industry becoming green means that everyday products will become green. So uh, in that sense it will affect everybody. Both small and medium-shaped enterprises and multinationals are committed to bringing the bio-based economy a step closer. We're doing a lot. So we're developing technologies to turn biomass, so the agricultural waste products, into renewable resources for chemistries. Shell has identified the biofuel area, the biomass area, as one of the areas that it can contribute best based on the skills that, he, that uh, it has on refineries and chemical plants. What the Coca-Cola company and Danone are looking for is really to shift in the coming 10 years um, from these petroleum-based products to 100% um, to renewable products. For me, there is no doubt that the bio-based economy is the future for this country. And uh, I think it will provide tremendous opportunity for existing players, but also really for new companies that are emerging in this area. <laughs>